After receiving their brand new homes less than three years ago, some residents of Pyramid Point in St. Anne are regretting their investment in the gated community. They complain that the units, which on average cost over $30 million, are fraught with problems. But as Sandy Williams reports, the developer insists he has been doing everything to fix it. At first sight, this housing development is beautiful, but looks are deceiving. I closed on my home the 30th of November last year. And within two weeks of moving into the home, I realized that mold started growing on my household items. Katrin Lee, a new home owner at Pyramid Point Development in St. Anne, has basically been evicted from her property by mold. Up to January when we visited the house, the mold was evident on almost everything in sight, beds, dresser, and even the wall art. Miss Lee is just one of several residents who have similar issues. I went to Jamaica in December, and as soon as I walk in the house, I just smell the wet smell. There is like mold. And I couldn't really pinpoint exactly where it was coming from. I started to see the little spurs in the closet, in the kitchen. Um, it was just, you know, like little spots. But it, the smell was just terrible. My sister was there with me and she started having upper respiratory issues. So I started digging. When I removed the paintings off the wall, there was so much mold behind it. Water leaking from the roof and windows further exacerbates the problem. We've had multiple um, leaks from all of the windows, especially the windows facing where the rain comes in. Our roof has not been profiled properly. The seal, there's no sealer on it, virtually. Water's pooling. The ceiling inside is the coating's lifting. We've had some very small amount of mold. The moisture problem in the house is going to create structural issues later on. The gathering of water on the roof, hmm? that's either not draining or not draining properly. Water coming into the, the, into the home and it's, it's a huge problem. According to the residents, despite several complaints to the developer, Manuka Developments Limited, nothing has been done to ease their frustration. I text him and I asked him if he could stop by and just take a look because I took everything down. I just wanted him to see what I was talking about. I saw that he read the text message and it was left on read. He did not come around. He did not look on anything. When contacted, Chief Executive Officer of Manuka Development Limited, Brad Manuka, says he has made attempts to clean the affected areas. He claims that the continued growth of mold is as a result of the houses being closed for a period of time. But Miss Lee says while she was living there, she made several attempts to remove the mold. Another cleaning crew came in and they cleaned the entire house with vinegar and bleach and I'm not sure what the other chemicals were that they used, um, but they cleaned the entire day. They took the furniture outside, cleaned the mold off of it. Um, we left all the windows open, the fans on. Um, there is a button on the AC to take out the humidity out of the hair. We had that going as well. And within two days time, the mold came back again. According to the planning department of the St. Anne Municipal Corporation, since the houses have been handed over, the residents will now have to seek legal redress. Sandy Williams, TVJ News. Still to come this evening, injured police officers waiting for extended periods at healthcare facilities. And in business news, I create to take legal action against Sagico Investments after receivership. We'll be right back.